chapter 10. Not too much of, of a chapter here, so uh, I think there's a couple of drinks in it for me. Now I, Nephi, proceed to give an account upon these plates of my proceedings and my reign and ministry, wherefore, to proceed with mine account, I must speak somewhat of the things of my father, and also of my brethren. For behold, it came to pass. For behold, it came to pass, after my father had made an end of speaking the words of his dream, and also of exhorting them to all diligence, he spake unto them concerning the Jews, that after they should be destroyed, even that great city Jerusalem, and many carried away captive into Babylon, according to the to the own due time of the Lord, they should return again, yea, even be brought back out of captivity. And after they should be brought back out of captivity, they should possess again the land of their inheritance. Yea, even six hundred years from the time that my father left Jerusalem, a prophet uh, would Wait, a prophet would the Lord God raise up among the Jews, even a Messiah, capitalized, or, in other words, a Savior, again capitalized, of the world, not just the Jews, of the world. And he also spake, uh, Lehi, concerning the prophets who don't remember him. Nobody's mentioned him. He only appears in this book. Uh, <laughs> but he knows all of them. <sighs> How great a number had testified of, the, of these things concerning the Messiah. Funny though, not nearly as specific as this book. <laughs> as we'll soon see. See, they're really building up to it. Of whom he, lowercase, he, that's God, had spoken, or this Redeemer, capitalized, of the world. That's weird. Just happen to be noticing this, that's all. Wherefore, all manner were in a lost and in a fallen state, and ever would be, save they should rely on his Redeemer, on this Redeemer. And he spake also concerning a prophet who should come before the Messiah to prepare the way of the Lord. Yea, even he should go forth and cry in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, and make his path straight. For there standeth one among you whom ye know not, Whose shoes latch it, I am not worthy to unloose. Shades of the book of John. And the baptizer named John. And much spake my father concerning this thing. And my father said, He should baptize in Bethshabera, beyond Jerusalem, wait, beyond Jordan. And he also said, he should baptize with water. So he's not going to throw dirt in your face. It's <laughs> he's going to baptize with water. Isn't that nice? Even that he should baptize the Messiah with water. Probably, you know, in a river with water. <laughs> and after he had baptized the Messiah with water, he should behold and bear record that he had baptized the Lamb of God. Who should take away the sins of the world? And it came to pass 
After my father had spoken these words, he spoke unto my brethren, concerning the gospel which should be preached among the Jews, and also concerning the dwindling of the Jews in unbelief. And after they had slain the Messiah, who should come after he had been slain, he should raise from the dead, and should make himself manifest by the Holy Ghost unto the Gentiles. Yea, even my father spake much concerning the Gentiles. That was nice of him. And also concerning the house of Israel, that they should be compared like unto an olive tree. Oh, Whose branches should be broken off and should be scattered among all the face of the earth. Wherefore, he said it must needs be that we should be led with one accord into the land of promise unto the fulfilling of the word of the Lord that we should be scattered upon the face of the earth and after the house of Israel should be scattered they should be gathered together again or in Fine, after the Gentiles had received the fullness of the gospel, the natural branches of the olive tree, or the remnant of the house of Israel, should be grafted in. I always had a, this thought that graft had something to do with it. You know, graft, religion. Grafted in. <laughs> or come to the knowledge of the true Messiah their Lord and their Redeemer. And after this manner of language, probably Egyptian, did my father prophesy and speak unto my brethren. So he is talking to them. Because in chapter 8 it said he was done talking with them. <laughs> and also many more things which I did not write in this book. For I have written as many of them as were expedient for me in mine other book. And in all these things which I have spoken were done as my father dwell in a tent in the valley of Lemuel. And it came to pass... After I, Nephi, having heard all the words of my father concerning the things which he saw in a vision, and also the things which he spake by the power of the Holy Ghost, which power he received by faith in the Son of God. And the Son of God was the Messiah. Who should come? I, Nephi. Because see, this is 600 B.C. So see, Jesus hasn't been born yet. <laughs> They're ready for him. Uh, I, Nephi, was desirous also that I might see and hear and know all these things by the power of the Holy Ghost which is the gift of God unto those who diligently seek Him, as well as in times of old, as in the time that He should manifest Himself unto the children of men. For He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the way is prepared for all men from the foundation of the world if it be, if it so be that they repent and come unto him. For he that diligently seek, seeketh <laughs> shall find, and the mysteries of God shall be unfolded unto them by the power of the Holy Ghost, as well as these things as in times of old, and as well in times of old as in times in times to come 
Wherefore, the course of the Lord is one eternal round. Therefore remember, O man, for all thy doings, thou shalt be brought into judgment. Wherefore, if ye have sought to do wickedly in the days of your proba probation, see you're on probation, O man, then ye are found unclean before the judgment seat of God, and no unclean thing can dwell with God, wherefore ye must be cast out forever. So a three dead, three days old dead corpse that resurrected itself is now clean. <laughs> Just wondering. And the Holy Ghost giveth authority that I should speak these things and deny them not. So there you have it. This is, that legitimizes this whole book. Um, anyhow, uh, Next time you see it, Merry fucking Christmas, folks. I'm having a great time. I hope you are, too. Peace.